history truly comes alive on the fifth year of The Well-Appointed Life as we present highlights of the Connoisseur Collection Sale on Saturday, the 22nd of September, 11 a.m. at the Rigudon Ballroom of the Peninsula, Manila. The collection opens with sterling silver pieces from eminent brands like Cartier and Christophe, which bring the splendor of the French Rococo period into any interior. Not to be missed is an impressive selection of excavated gold, like this prized 24 karat gold Kamagi gear necklace dated between the 8th to the 14th century, a magnificent piece of ancient Filipino jewelry and one of the most coveted pieces of pre-colonial gold ornamentation, highly prized by the Bogobo tribe of Mindanao. From Paracale, Camarines Norte is this 22 karat Alfajor style necklace and 22 karat Escapulario, usually worn by devotees from wealthy families. And from Surigao, this 18 karat waist ornament from the 10th century that to this day is a symbol of power in traditional societies in Mindanao, not found anywhere else in the world. The field of numismatics takes its rightful place in history with this extremely rare Miguel Lopez de Legazpi medal made of 90% gold and minted in 1964, which was declared the Year of Mexican-Filipino Friendship to commemorate the fourth centenary anniversary of Philippines-Mexico relations. Another highly collectible piece is this 5,000 Philippine Peso gold coin issued in 1977 and minted with the authorization of the Central Bank of the Philippines by the Franklin Mint in Pennsylvania. Tribal and ethnographic items showcasing the Philippines' rich pre-colonial culture include a rare King Bulul, a 19th century Hapaw Bulul, a fine early pair of Lagawe Bululs from the 1880s, and a lot of three prehistoric excavated pottery circa 200 to 1000 BC. Showcasing fine Philippine craftsmanship are this mini hagabi, this mid-20th century satwaran or taracoda, and this gentleman's salakot made of tortoise shell, gold, and silver. Precious materials like ivory and silver are used to depict religious images like this 18th century ivory head of San Jose on a kamagong base, a kamagong urna with a crucified Christ tableau, and this silver and porcelain enamel painting of Nuestra Señora del Pilar. Maps and prints worthy of any serious collection include this 1785 map Isule Filipine by Antonio Zata and this lot of original historical documents chronicling the life and art of Juan Luna Inovicio. In relation to the family of the country's greatest artist, the collection also features pieces from the Pardo de Tavera clan, starting with this historic pair of Qing Dynasty Famille Vert porcelain jars, one of which was featured in Luna's painting Calentador de la Casa, a vignette of the Paris apartment he shared with his wife. Accompanying the jars is this pair of Rococo candelabra and this important antique Chinese carved table with marble top from the 1870s, one of only three known to exist. Estate furniture is a permanent feature of the connoisseur collection, and this year boasts exemplars of Vienna furniture that became a phenomenon in Europe in the mid-19th century such as this pair of bentwood chairs and an oval-topped console table. Complementing the fine make of these pieces is this large four-drawer Komoda Aparador made of Balayong and Molave from Bohol and a pair of 19th century Bulacan Nara and Kamagong Tambol Aparadors.
making a rare appearance is an 18th century gargoyle or dinimonio table, one of the most elusive early pieces of Hispano-Filipino furniture and arguably the pinnacle object for many serious furniture collectors and connoisseurs as a specimen of the earliest altar tables made by Chinese artisans. To complete the vignette is this large 18th century Christ on the cross of solid ivory, one of the largest in the country. Capping off the list of connoisseur highlights are pieces from the collection of the Montilla family, one of the oldest in the island of Negros. This 19th century bronze bell was used in Don Julian Montilla's Hacienda Trinidad, which, when rung, could be heard up to two kilometers away to call the plantation workers. Camphor wood, which was reserved for worship and ceremonial items in China, is the primary material of this 19th century chest which belonged to Doña Juana Montilla. Summing up the concept of native lux is this divine atay half-tester bed of Don Julian, the derigur status symbol of established families at the time, and a captivating icon of the well-appointed life. Preview starts on Thursday the 13th of September and runs through Friday the 21st of September 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the gallery on Level 3 of the Peninsula Manila. The online catalog is available at salcedoauctions.com.